Hi there, and welcome to Neofight.tv, the technology show for the not so geeky. My name is Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And uh, you look like you almost lost it there for a second. <laughs> yep. I've only said it, what, 5,000 times? Yeah, uh, that's something right. like that. Um, <laughs> So today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at another product from our good friends at Brando. Brando is that Taiwanese mm -hmm. company or Hong Kong company. Mm -hmm. I think it's Hong Kong, actually. And they make those really funky, like, they have the guys that make the USB flash drives that look like sushi. Oh, yeah. Have you, you know, those? I think that they are, company is very creative. It, it comes up with all creative. different kinds of stuff. Yeah. Why not make the technology fun, you know? Exactly. Well, this is a great little product. Some of their products are kind of cheap, uh, uh, mm -hmm. maybe. Sorry, Brando. It's true. This is a really cool product. This is called the iPower. And basically what it is, it's an external battery and speaker for your iPhone. Ooh. Take a look. It, it slides like so. Uh, can I do this? Here we go. See the sliding up and down? Mm -hmm. Ow. <laughs> it's a little mousetrap. It slides like that. What you do is you take your iPhone. So here's your iPhone. And you slide it back until it, it, it lies flat. Mm -hmm. And then you slide this forwards. And it works with 3G. And it does work with the 3G, one, 3G, the 1G and the 3G. And I don't know if you, you can't see it, it's way too small, but it's now, well, you can see the battery icon in there. It's yeah, now charging. It's the, down here at the bottom, too. Yeah, down, this shows you that mm -hmm. the, its battery is, let me try that so you can see it. It's this full. shows you that its battery mm -hmm. is full. And here it shows you that it's now charging my iPhone. So now cool. if you're going on a really long flight, and it doesn't make mm -hmm. it that much bigger. I mean, take a look at that. How does that feel to you? No, it's actually, and it's really light. It's light, it's you know. small, uh, it all, and you, if you plug this into your regular charger now, it'll charge both, both. batteries, the iPhone battery and its battery. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so as far as a charge, is it going to charge this battery to full? Do you know how many charges it gets? Just one is, is what they claim. It will like charge your battery from dead to full, or if you've got a full battery, you basically have twice as long to use it. Mm -hmm. So if you had something that was going to be, you know, an hour, something, you know, it used to, I think the iPhone plays like three hours or six hours of video, now it'll play twice. This is going to ask you, what's, how, what has your experience been as far as video? I mean, how long can you watch? A movie. I've gotten like with with the battery. With back? the battery, no battery full, just by itself. Just by itself, I think like four hours. Um, to be honest, I've never really watched like four straight hours. No, I of haven't video. either. I was just curious. Yeah, uh, but you know what my wife does is she listens to audio books when she goes to bed. And mm -hmm. so here's the problem she's always had: is she goes to bed with this on, listens to the audio book. Yeah. She falls asleep in an hour. It plays all night. She wakes up. She's yeah. got a dead phone. Right. She loves this now. So what she does is she puts this in here, listens to the audio book, uh -huh. and then in the morning. This battery is almost out, but she's still got a full battery, so she takes it out, plugs this in to charge, carries her phone off. Jody has got Solution. to be... Solution. Problem I, solved. She is like your beta tester. Really I mean, is. on all of these things, she's like, Jody tries, Jody does. You know what? She has got to be um, a perfect consumer person for giving you know feedback. Now, what's yeah. really cool about this device is that uh, as well as having a... Um, as well as having a battery, it has a speaker in it. So let me jump over to the music section here real quick, uh, iPod, and I'm gonna play a song, and you can hear the little speaker. Now, iPhone already has a speaker mm -hmm. in it, but this one is apparently, supposedly, uh, louder. So it cuts off the iPhone speaker and runs through this, obviously. Cuts off the iPhone yeah. speaker, exactly. So let me uh, pull up a song here, um, you know, uh, just pick anything. Uh, Too bad this didn't have video out already included in there somehow. That would be cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Video out would be cool. And of course, mm -hmm. you can't do that with it. So let me. Uh, because the reason why I say that is because when we travel, we just take this and, and plug it into uh, the TVs at the hotels. Right. You know? Right. And, and we have yeah. all uh, little guys' content. <laughs> were you feeling oh. were you feeling uh, soulful when you listened to that last? Yeah. There's the speaker. Focus. Focus. It's not really much louder than the iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds really crappy and tinny. Yeah. Really, it's kind of an afterthought. I don't think that I would... Can you hear that? Uh, yeah. Don't it, buy it for the speaker. Right. Buy it for the, the battery. Chart, yeah, the battery. The speaker is kind of crappy. I have one other uh, uh, idea for them. Yes. If they could make it to where it stands up... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it it does, does stand up. up. Well, barely, though. Okay. It, it could use a stand. Something a little bit, yeah, more solid right here. Right. Because, again, I mean, it's nice if you're not having to hold this and watch a show. Well, so right? I'm going to dock at a point for the crappy, crappy speaker. But I would have just <laughs> the left the speaker out. It's uh, yeah. 45 bucks or 50 bucks somewhere in that ballpark. I'm converting from yen, I think, or something. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't yen, but it was some Hong Kong 
dollar or something um, <laughs> that I'm converting from. So it's a good value, I think. Uh -huh. You know, it's cheaper than a lot of the other batteries that are out there on the market, and it fits in really nice. The speaker sucks, four to five. Okay, so I, I would say that, um, I mean, if you're just going to buy a standard charger, I mean, it's 50 bucks anyway, right. you know, so I'm five out of five for me. I don't care about the tingy, just don't use it. And um, as far as the product, I mean, it's great. Five out of five, Tiffany, four out of five for me, nine out of 10 for the Brando mm -hmm iPower iPhone charger works with mm. the 3G iPhone. We yep. know how important that is. It's got to yep. be 3G compatible. Yep, absolutely. And uh, we have another segment coming up right after this. So if you have a moment, please stay, stay tuned. tuned. Are you still lighting your videos the old fashioned way? Heavy, fragile lighting fixtures, hot lights that make your talent sweat, gels and filters to match your colors. Time to take a look at the Xylite LED lighting system, the future of lighting today. Small, compact, and durable LED lights with high wattage output. Cool LED technology won't overheat your talent. And multicolor presets let you instantly choose from daylight, tungsten, or custom colored illumination. Fully dimmable at the touch of a button. And each Xylite comes with wireless networking built in for easy remote control. For more information, visit Xylite today at www.xylite.com. And we're back in the second spotlight section today. We are looking at this. This is Chunky Monkey. This is a man. This is a, by TSC. This it's is a man the, charger. Yeah, this is the Zero Surge <laughs> Power Filter Surge Protector. Take a look. It's got plugs on the back. You plug it in, and it protects your equipment. And let me tell you. This thing okay. is the a surge protector that will survive the <laughs> electromagnetic shock of a nuclear attack. Uh, uh, I'm telling you. Well, you don't this, need a candlestick if a robber comes in, that's for sure. It does right. <laughs> you know, it's you know, this... home protection as well as power protection. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how heavy that is. What's up with that? It's, it's, uh, it's, you're protected. Don't you feel protected? <laughs> wow. Okay, so um, here's the thing. How much is this? Like 200 bucks. $200 for this thing? I mean, it feels... Look how well built it is. It's heavy. Okay, yeah. yes, it's heavy. Okay, so here's my big thing with, with surge protectors. Yeah. By the way, you can buy one for, what, 15, 20 bucks. I mean, maybe it's not all that, but if you... You know how big plugins are? Right. Like, you know, print... I mean, okay, what's the point of having all these plugins when the blocks that you plug into on your printers, all that stuff, covers two things anyway? They are kind of close together, aren't you they? You don't have a... You absolutely have no... You're actually getting maybe three, four. You're getting four in this big hunk of metal. In, in my house, anyway. That's a good point. And you know, so. the other thing is, is um, and two hundred, uh, two hundred dollars. The other thing that is, <laughs> is that the, you notice these plugs on here. The rubber feet are on here, so these plugs are kind of upside down. Stand, you know, most plugs have the little hole in the bottom, yeah. right? And that way, when you put the power brick in, it might fall off. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Okay, so this is what I do like. I like that it's. Um, Okay, I don't like the price. I would never pay $200 for it, ever, ever. This, um, is, this is a power strip for men. Okay. This is a lot like some yes. wimpy pansy thing that's going to like blow up at the first sign of trouble. Okay, if you're if the, the job is to protect a surge, right? Right. And you can do it for 25 bucks or 30 Maybe say it's 50 you know, to be fair. Um, why would you pay 200 Now, if this was taller maybe and had these plugs further apart... Well... One thing they will say I would is pay like maybe it's, it's 75. Better, they say right. it's better protection. You know? Okay, and you know it might the other be. The thing is, is they also say better, they but... use uh, non-degrading components. What what I've heard, what I get by that I mean read on their website, uh, was <laughs> that some power bars, if you if they're like protecting you and protecting you and protecting you after like a year, the the parts that are protecting you will degrade and wear out, and so you're no longer getting such good protection. I have a question. Yeah. What happens when you plug a surge protector into a surge protector? Do you get double protection? You know, it's, it, it is. It's, it's, it's just like going to the beach. If you don't have SPF 50, but you have SPF 25, you just put right. SPF 25 on twice. Exactly. It's like SPF Doesn't 50. that like totally work? It is totally I mean, work. I would totally get that. Wow. So, um, yeah, so I'll just plug two surge protectors into them, each other, for 15 bucks a piece. $30, I'm double protected, and I'm done. Because you know what? Really, when you line them all up, I need six slots anyway. It's totally okay. So like two out of five, I think, for me. Two out of five. If that, I mean, I'm like one point five out of five or something. I give it a four oh out of five. It is a bit pricey, <laughs> but it's going to protect. Like if you've got computers and big screen TVs, it can protect. It's going to filter out all that noise. Really better than yeah. Okay. I don't know. And the, the reason I'm docking its points is because I think the plugs are the wrong way up. I, I did put a brick in here and it p fell out because it's mm -hmm. used to having the weight on the bottom, and when you have to turn it upside or, down and put the yeah. weight on the top. And if you turn it like this, maybe it doesn't protect as well. 
Well, I don't know about that, but it does. It has the rubber feet here. Yeah, I So you throw it. in there, it's going to like scratch your... Scratch your, manly, your man floor. Yeah. <laughs> in All your right. man cave. That's two out of five for Tiffany, <laughs> four out of five for me, six out of ten for the uh, TSC, uh, Total Surge Cancellation Technology, mm -hmm. Zero Surge Power Filter. A... Uh, Manly. Expensive. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Let us know yeah. what you think. Send us a comment. We is read it, all of them, by the way. A new shot put, a link <laughs> event. It's pretty heavy. You know? You actually probably could not really hurt someone with that you if you wanted to. probably could whack someone over the head. So it's a surge protector plus. Intruders beware. Home protection device. <laughs> um, so yeah. that's. Uh, all the time we have for today, leave us a comment. What do you do for surge protectors? Do you buy the cheapy one down at Walmart, like somebody I know? Or do you want to go for something that's really going to protect your expensive $2,000? Okay. You know, isn't that an idea? If you got a $2,000 flat screen TV, don't you want to protect it with something that's going to be worth a couple hundred bucks? Well, then what's the point of selling surge protectors if they don't protect any surges? I mean, wouldn't that be like... Maybe they'll only protect you from some surges, but not real surges. And where's the fine print in that packaging anyway? I've never you seen ever it. You ever met a guy named Surge? They're always gay. <laughs> Oh God, another game. And that's all the time and we have. Then I said God. That's all the time God. we have. So, <laughs> but if you haven't done your name is Serge. Yeah. Send Ben an email. <laughs> no, you know. Have to have an extra thirty seconds. Take a look at this. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it, or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded? Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you that make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com.